common misconception with treading water is the egg beater kick using a ton of energy to be able to keep yourself above water. Well, I'm going to demonstrate in this video the difference between an egg beater with a lot of power and also just relaxing and hanging out in place in deep water and the differences between the two. channel I'm coach Mandy in today's quick demonstration I will be showing you a comparison between using a lot of power with an egg beater kick as well as just hanging out and just sculling in deep water relaxed without having to stop and stand up now before I get started if you are new to the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner as I post videos every week to help with your swim practice Okay, swimmer, so starting off, I am demonstrating a classic egg beater style that is efficient. This isn't using a lot of power. It's just moving in that egg beater pattern, keeping my feet turned out, but relaxed. As you see here, it's fine that my head is out of water, but the majority of my body is under the water and it's totally okay. The key is to move in that pattern, but not use a lot of muscular effort. And here, going into demonstrating almost in a seated position, this time I'm just using my arms a little bit more than I would my legs since my legs are not moving in that pattern. Still just as relaxed. I sink and dip as well, but as I relax, I pop up. So you want to completely relax your entire body and increase your surface area. So right there, as I expand my arms and legs, I pop up immediately. Look, right there, pop up. So the key to the difference between being efficient with treading water versus powering through it is you have to increase your surface area and relax. So just by hanging out and relaxing, it's okay that your head's underwater, as I show here totally is okay because eventually you end up popping up again and you take some air and you relax further. So it's almost like a vertical float. Okay, so now here is egg beater with a lot of power. So you see the difference. I have my hands up and elevated so I'm not sculling. So because it's all legs, you end up using that egg beater kick but at a higher tempo and you're using your core to keep everything engaged and sitting up higher on the surface. Now this is not efficient. It's very much a high powered skill. The stronger you are, the longer you can hold this, but it's not really meant to be used for a long time if you're in deep water, unless you are a water polo player. So here I'm just demonstrating the difference and you can see that it's still the same egg beater pattern. It's just used with a lot more effort and it is all legs and core. Great exercise. So if you're already comfortable with egg beater, this is a really good exercise to incorporate in your own practice. Now, if you're interested in learning how to fully establish relaxation and efficiency with treading water or staying in place in deep water, click the link in the pinned comments below. All right, swimmers, that's it for today's quick demonstration of powering through with an egg beater kick versus just hanging out and relaxing in deep water and being able to stay in place. Now, if you're interested in really improving your efficiency with treading water to be able to be comfortable in deep water without expending so much energy and having more control of your surroundings, join my treading water program at community.swimvice.com and get seven days free and plus access multiple other digital courses. All right, swimmers, enjoy your practice, and I will see you all next week.